Hey everybody, I uh, I just filmed this video, but I got a little excited and rambled and it ran long and uh, yeah, okay, so I took a breath, I've collected myself, let's start again. Four creators, <laughs> yeah, just four, okay, let's try to keep this minimal. First off, a uh, little backstory about my combo collecting. For 15 years, the only thing I collected was the X-Men. It was the first 15 years of my serious comic collecting. It was just X-Men. X-Men. X-Men, X-Force, New Mutants, X-Factor, little Excalibur, and every once in a while I would pick up uh, like a West Coast Avengers book. But the reason why I was into all of that was because of Cl Chris Claremont. I pulled this book out. Um, this isn't my, like, this is my reader copy. My X-Men doubles are on the top of my pile, so it was just easy to find. So I'm just holding this up as reference. But this book right here is phenomenal. Um, it's, it's, anyway, yes, Chris Claremont. Uh, going from, like, just exclusively G.I. Joe and Transformers to this was, was really cool. There was a shop that used to be between the middle school that I went to in my house. So, you know, I'd do, like, yard work for the neighbors and make some money, and I'd go spend my money on X-Men comic books. Just X-Men comic books. That's it. Well, X-Force, X-Men, New Mutants. That's it. And West Coast Avengers, for whatever reason. Okay, so for years and years and years, that was it. That was it. Uh, we were living in Tennessee. I didn't have a lot of friends that read comic books, so that's all I knew. And I was okay with that because of Chris Claremont, particularly the late 90s or 80s stuff. Um, the Mark Silvestri art run on this book is still some of my favorite X-Men stuff. The John Byrne stuff is great. The Dave Cockrum stuff is, of course, amazing. But I just have a soft spot for the Mark Silvestri stuff. The Mutant Massacre story and uh, John Byrne and Chris Claremont's Dark Phoenix Saga. Okay, Chris Claremont, number one. Very influential in my comic book collecting for 15 years because that was all I read. Fast forward, we moved from Tennessee to Missouri. Uh, I met some friends who were into comic books and that was awesome. Uh, one day we heard about a comic quarter, a quarter comic sale. Um, in the city, so we rolled up in there with a bunch of change. I bought a bunch of stuff. I can't remember what book it was in particular that I picked up, but I picked up an issue of Concrete. Uh, I also that day picked up a couple issues of Cerebus, and that was great too, but Concrete, Paul Chadwick stuff, made a bigger impression on me than Dave Sims. But Dave Sims is still amazing, but this book in particular, going from X-Men to concrete like opened my eyes as far as like what was out there you know story wise in comics um, this was probably about as independent as I got at the time uh, I you know it was but yes Paul Chadwick and this was the first book I really got into where the writer and the artist were the same person and that just kind of resonated with me it just seems like more of a personal thing uh this was also about the time that I got into uh, Peter Milligan and a little of the Grant Morrison Doom Patrol stuff. So I was big into Vertigo prior to it becoming Vertigo, I guess. So this was my start into my independent comic, independent comic uh, fixation. Not that I have a problem with any of this, because like I said, some of the X-Men stuff is still some of my favorite and I am a big Spider-Man fan, or was at least. I still am. It's just the new stuff. I just don't care. Um, you give me some Mark Bagley art, then I'm all over that. Or Sal Buscema on Spectacular. Some of my favorite, favorite hands down, Spider-Man stuff. Yeah, Paul Chadwick and Dave Sims, but Paul Chadwick. Number one, Chris Claremont. Number two, Paul Chadwick. Okay, let's fast forward a couple more years. I moved from... Missouri. I enlisted in the Air Force. I got stationed in Louisiana. Uh, I didn't buy comics for 
at this point probably six years, six or seven years. I just didn't, I didn't have the room. I moved around a lot, a lot. Uh, my job kind of, I was supposed to be ready to go. So schlep in a bunch of comics across the country or the other side of the planet. It just didn't sound like a good time. But one day I was bored and because everybody I knew in the Air Force was into NASCAR and strip clubs. And neither one of those things really appeals to me. So I was just out driving around, came across a comic shop. I went, sweet. I like comics. I liked comics. Let's go see what's new. Let's go see, you know, if Paul Chadwick is still doing great stuff or if Chris Claremont is still in the X-Men. I walked into this shop, first shop I'd been in in years. Uh, had a conversation with the guy, kind of explained what was going on. I said, I was just looking for some trades because I didn't really want to mess with uh, singles. And he goes, yeah, cool, awesome. Come on. They had this nice selection of trades. We talked about some stuff, and I walked out with three. And I think that, well, no, one of these I've replaced. But this is what the guy at the shop recommended. Walking Dead. Nah, eh, it's okay. It's okay. Why the Last Man? Mind blown. And going from uh, Shade the Changing Man to this was, uh, I, I, I actually told him I was into Shade the Changing Man, and he recommended this. And this is great. This is great, great, great. I have all of the trades in this. I'm missing one of the single issues, and they're my Why the Last Man collection is done. Amazing, 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 amazing. Brian K. Vaughn. Awesome stuff. His uh, Pride of Baghdad is really good, too. Okay. Number one, Chris Claremont. Number two, Paul Chadwick. Number three, Brian K. Vaughn. Number four, Garth Ennis. This was another one of the trades that I walked out with that day, and this is the trade that I walked out with that day. Um, this is Until the End of the World. I think this is book three in the regular volumes. Uh, great stuff. Preacher. I'm so glad there's like hype about this book now. I mean, I have them all, so I don't care what the price and the books is going for anymore because I got them. I'm not going to go buy another copy of number one just because. But if you guys are interested or... There's a reason this book is hot. This book is amazing. So Garth Ennis uh, would be choice number four. And I've read most of what else he has done. Um, but yeah, it... These three guys in particular, and Peter Milligan, and Dave Sims, and Neil Gaiman, really, but these four dudes right here, these are my choices. Chris Claremont, awesome stuff. Paul Chadwick, opened my eyes to like the whole independent thing. Garth Ennis, what's not to like about this book? And Why the Last Man? The last volume of this in trade makes me cry. The the last story arc of Why the Last Man will like rip your heart out and stomp a mud hole in it. Okay. That's what I got. I have to tag people. Let's see. Michael Jocko, you have been tagged. Not a wog, you have been tagged. Sandman Logan 5, you have been tagged. And let's tag Don, the comic book junkie. Um, I think uh, I want to tag somebody else. I'm going to tag Howler Mouse 2 and Sleepy Reader 666. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Michael Jocko, Nottawag, Sandman Logan 5, Don, the comic book junkie. Sleepy Reader 666, but I think he might have already been tagged by Travis. I can't remember. And Howler Mouse. Totally awesome dude. Okay. Thanks. You guys have a nice day.